Hi guys, Drew James here from Learn Guitar in London playing Radiohead's classic High and Dry. It's not very dry in London today, it's pretty miserable. Uh, this is a just a great song, I and mean, there's there's a lot. Radiohead are probably one of my favourite bands, so it's uh, it's a fantastic song. Um, so I'm going to get straight on to the song. To begin with, we hold down the fourth fret on the sixth string down with our index finger, our first finger. So one, two, three, four of the fingers, first finger, and then we're holding down the sixth fret on two strings. So on the third string down and the fourth string down. Okay, and you should get this chord. Also, we're making sure that we're leaving the B string open. Okay, so we don't want this. That's a bit too muted, yeah? So you bring your thumb around the back and keep on your fingertips. Just a good general rule um, for any sort of chord playing. Okay? Uh, and you're strumming the bottom four strings on your right hands. Then what you're doing is you're sliding that shape down. Okay, so you slide this whole shape down to the second fret. So that means you're now on second fret on the sixth string and you're on the fourth fret on the third and fourth string. Same thing letting the B string ring. So we're going... Then we return to that first chord. Then we play an A suspended second. Not as hard as it sounds. If you know how to play an A, just play an A but lift up your finger on the fifth string. And notice that I'm sliding these fingers around, okay? So I'm going from here, that's what that first chord looks like. And then I'm sliding it down to there, as I showed you. Then we're going back up to here, and then we're moving that whole thing, so third and fourth finger, down to the second fret, holding on the third and fourth string down. And with the A, suspended so second, we're strumming from the uh, bottom five strings. Wonderful chord, love that chord. And then we're changing to an E. Hopefully you know how to do an E already, uh, which is like this. If you don't know how to do an E already, type E chord guitar into Google and they'll show you. Okay, so you hold that down for, this one is for two bars. Okay, so let's talk about the measures. Um, so just try and play along with me. So we're going... for the counting is easier when you're actually sort of doing the rhythm. So I'm going to take you through the rhythm. Now this is the most challenging element. Um, if you're the sort of person that prefers to see the rhythm written down, then just go to my website, learnguitarinlondon.com, uh, click sign up on the right hand side and that will take you through to, st straight through to the student area, it's completely free. And you can get the tap to this as well as there's videos to other songs that you don't get on YouTube uh, and other tap. So let's take you through this. So it's up, down, up, down, up. So that's the first opening bar. Up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Okay, the next part. Up, down, up, down, up, down, down. So that's the same. Up, 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 down, up, down. Okay, so that's slightly different, that part. So I'll do it slowly. Up, down, up. This part. Then we're on to the E. Now the E rhythm is slightly different once again, but the good news is, is once you've got the hang of this E rhythm on the first bar anyway, it's the same rhythm throughout the verse, the chorus, um, give or take, there's a couple of actual little bits, uh, but it's more, more or less the same thing. So this is down, down, up. So hopefully you've got the hang of that. It does take a bit of practice to uh, to get your hands moving. And if you just use ghost drums, which is where you're actually missing the strings, okay? So I notice I'm keeping my hands moving, even though I'm not always hitting the strings, and that keeps a nice even tempo. Um, okay, so let's look at the next part. 
So this is where the singing starts, and what we're doing is we're starting with a variation on an F sharp minor. So you're putting your first finger on the fourth string down on the uh, second fret, and then you're using your third and fourth finger, making a very similar shape to the beginning. If you think about it, there's a gap in the middle, uh, but we're on the A, um, sorry, the second and the third string down, and we're strumming from the bottom five strings. Okay, that's what the chord looks like. And then we're sliding down back to our A suspended seconds. Okay, once again, I hope you remember what that's like. And then we're going to E for two bars. Now, however, there is a little bit in the E that kind of sounds really awesome, just changing it to an E suspended second. All you need to do to change it to the E suspended second is take your little pinky and hold it down on the um, full string down on the sec of a second fret. So, <laughs> like this. Okay, let me just show you what the count is for this. So this is when we return to the E. So we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay? So it's on the first bar of the E, we're turning it into a suspended just for one beat on the four, okay? And then as I said earlier, the rhythm is exactly the same as the second bar in the E of the intro. If this is getting too complicated and you prefer to see it written down, then you can um, download the tab, as I said, from the website. So it's... Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. So just notice on the E there, the suspended really gets accentuated with the rhythm on the 4EA, so it's down, one, two, three, sort of um, lifts um, the song. I really love that part. Of that. That's cool. Um, okay, so that is essentially the whole song. All right? I'll just show you that main body of rhythm uh, at the beginning again. So it's down, down, And that is the same for the chorus, for the verse, um, and essentially where all the singing is. The only other sort of changes in the rhythm are very easy to follow if you listen to the record. Uh, there's that part where it's the best thing that you ever had, the best thing. And you're doing it, you're just strumming the chord down for four beats. And, and then the E again. And also, I think this is cool because I play this song uh, live. One, two, three. So that's what um, Johnny Greenwood does uh, when in, in the break there. So I'll just put that in actually, that's quite cool. I didn't intend to teach this, but I think that sounds quite cool. That would actually be quite difficult to get to that strumming it again. It's up to you if you want to put it in there. Two, three. I suppose you can just not strum the E again. Anyway, I digress. Let me show you how to just do that part. So that's called a natural harmonic. And what you're doing is you're hovering, I use my middle finger, you hover it over the 13th fret marker. Okay, so it's, this is the 12th fret. Let me show you, it's easier if I do it like this maybe. So you see that I'm just hovering my finger over, okay? And then you get, then you just strike it quite solidly and you just let those notes ring. That's called harmonics. They're all over the 12th fret, 7th, 5th, so on and so forth. Um, okay, so there's that part, and then the only other part um, is leading into the chorus. So he does eighth beat chugging strumming, so it's one, two, So in the chorus, you just don't put in the suspended second E with your little finger, okay? You only leave that for the verses. So that's been everything. Uh, thank you for watching. And um, as I said, sign up at the website if you'd like to have a look at the tab. There's also other just great guitar resources turning into, which is fantastic. Um, see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.